Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Rav Shiva, the spiritual philanthropist. So, hey, guys, I know I know you noticed the new uh, logo that I have because I love the Sumerians so much. I just wanted to have that with the chakras down down them. But look, it stands for something I call the wandering avatars. Something I created a long time ago that represents people just like myself. We exhibit strange abilities since I was a kid. I've had this. And uh, I find out now they have other people just like me that they call star children. Of course, I'm an adult, so I must be a star adult <laughs> or adult star. <laughs> so, you know, uh, let's go back and uh, let's check this out. I found this video on News Nation. And, you know, this stuff fascinates me ever since. I've had experiences when I was a kid, very strong experiences that, thank God, there was such a thing as physics and science to help me actually understand what may have happened when I was growing up, when I was younger, to help me to understand that I'm not crazy, that this happens to other people as well. Um, and I'm glad now they're having inclusion in this and showing more people of color, which is a big thing for me. So I'm very happy about that as well. I get to share my story with you guys as well. So let's go over here and we're going to take a look at this video now and see what it is that's going on. That they cannot understand this was when they released the body cam video from nine from, excuse me, from the October 17th massacre, um, 2017 massacre. What they do is, if there's something that they don't want you to see, they'll blur it out. But there is no reason why they couldn't have blurred out whatever they don't want you to see. Say if there was something in the back of the family's yard that the family didn't want to be seen, the audio would have still should have been running. In this case, everything is blocked out. So we don't know the conversation between the police officer in the backyard and Angel. We don't know what they were looking at. Angel's the young uh, man. So I want to be clear to at this for point. our audience. He's the young teenager who called 911 and, and, you know, was the primary observer, witness of. I'm actually glad she said that because I'm thinking, wait a second. At the first, I thought there's angels involved now, not just aliens. <laughs> she really, look, she did a great job there. This, although other members of his family said they saw it too. Why do you suppose then that the Las Vegas Metro Police did that redacted 16 full minutes went to complete silence and black for 16 minutes and do you think they'll reverse course to just try to put an end to all the speculation well I'm the first word that comes to mind is suppression suppression tactics and this is this is something that has been used by people that have power if they don't want information getting to anyone they suppress it in every which way they can that's a very smart tactic if, if you're trying to hide the truth or trying to hide you're, you know, like whatever it is that you don't want people to know. Obviously, it's redacted both on audio and video because there's obviously something they don't want us to see and something to hear. Now, my sources told me that immediately after this incident, a Los Fe My sources told me that Ragu sauce is... I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> the accent is killing me. But, um... I'm glad that he's like this because he seems very like a legit type of dude. You know, he's not like one of those flashy guys that are like, let me tell you. He's like a down-to-earth real type of person. Let's hear what he has to say. Let me shut up. Vegas Metro Police Department, uh, Police Department detective who uh, he's, he works with the gangs or something. He's an IT expert. My sources said he was immediately called in. And the speculation is that something was either deleted or changed in the record system, whether it was a body camera or a dispatch system, we don't know because he's not even talking to his friends. I got his name, but I'm not going to mention it. So that came from reliable sources within Metro. Is, I've got 10 seconds left. Is there anything that can convince you that this is true at this point in this investigation? I don't think, the, I, I said this last night, I don't believe the family's uh, lying. I believe they're telling the truth. They believe they believe they saw something. As far as what the Metro Police are doing, they have a pattern and practice of cover-ups and lies over the years. So now with this is almost four weeks, it's over a month now since this thing happened. Now they're starting to put out press releases and stuff, but they haven't put out press releases, given a verbal statement. I, I don't trust anything right now. The timeline doesn't fit with these cameras. They put them in on the 19th, and I was told that the only way they knew about it, the undersheriff, was my podcast. Mm. And then they were pulled out two or three days later. Well, if they were concerned for the family's safety, why, why did they them pull out? them out? Right. Why, why did they put so them back quickly? in now since there's people over at the house? And the, yeah, because the speculation is growing and there may be more looky loos. Um, makes perfect sense. Uh, Doug Papa, thanks so much for being on again. Really appreciate it. Wow, that's interesting, man. You know, uh, to see this stuff on all the news stations is really fascinating to me. 
Like, there's a lot of people talking about it. It's created a buzz. Everybody's, like, trying to figure out. And, you know, of all the places, I'm probably going to do a cart, you know, because I do cartoons, right? So, <laughs> I'm probably going to do a, a cartoon about these guys, these aliens trying to go to Atlantic City to, you know, gamble. And they end up somehow getting blown out of the sky or something happened. And uh, ended up landing, you know, going to these people's backyard. And now that, you know, now they're America's most sought after aliens or whatever. Uh, the whole thing is kind of funny in some ways, but at the same time, I was thinking about this and I said in my other videos that David Grush, if you haven't heard of him yet, he's an intelligence officer that worked with the United States military. When he came out and said that, yeah, we have UFOs and we, you know, we've had them for a while and, and, uh, God knows how many, he says quite a bit and they've been trying to reverse engineer them. I believe that's where, uh, windows and Apple and all that great stuff that we have now comes from is the reverse engineered technology from these UFOs. Um, Probably, uh, like if you've seen my other videos where Phil Schneider talks about his experiences, he's the one that helped build the underground bases for the military. And he talks about uh, the corpses of these uh, spaceships and these, you know, not just the corpses, but the actual aliens themselves. Their biology could cause us to get sick, cause viruses. And, and I believe that was a very interesting statement that he made. It's plausible to the situation because one of the things that they do, you have to go through a quarantine and then... Uh, they have to go and basically purify you, you know, it's like, make sure you don't have anything uh, in your biology that could be dangerous to us here on Earth when you come back from space. Uh, uh, the astronauts have to go through this. So, you know, this all leads to something, because why would David Grush all of a sudden come out of the woodworks and talk about this right after we see this videos and i also did some enhancement on these video on some of the stills that i took from the videos and they're going pretty they're popping pretty hard on uh tiktok and and uh and uh facebook and on youtube because i if you see what i did some enhancements i really took like a, a little about an hour and a half worth of just sitting there messing with the different uh uh metrics on 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 uh image and just trying to you know get everything to where i could see something and i was able to get these you, I'll just show it to you. You're going to freak out when you see it. I, I'm not even kidding. It's so strange. Uh, you know, like even I, when I look at it, can't believe some of the things that I'm seeing. But let me find it for you. And we're going to watch that next. But first, let me show you this other video, which I think would be interesting for us to watch as well. Let's check this out. Across the sky in Las Vegas still has many people questioning what really was it? A local I like family the claims they had an alleged alien encounter just minutes after that light crossed the sky. But as David Charnes explains, there could be a possible explanation. I think I know what it is. I think that because this is the the uh, Pride Month, that there are probably aliens out there that celebrate Pride. And they're, no, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> I hope I didn't offend anybody. I'm just being stupid. Let's see. They got some really nice footage on that. New video shared with the 8 News Now investigators shows something streaking through the sky on April oh, yeah. 30th. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. I have butterflies, bro. Uh, Everyone saw a shooting star. Then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. The fireball sparked a call to 911 about aliens in a Northwest Valley backyard and this response from Metro Police. Oh, what did you see in that video? <laughs> When we do get a good fireball like that, oh, it excites the scientists so much. Andrew Kerr is the planetarium manager at the College of Southern Nevada. He says there's no doubt that streak in the sky seen from California to Utah was a rock. It was uh, almost assuredly uh, a meteor. Uh, we're probably talking based on how bright that was in the video. It could have still been about the size of a small car. Kerr says it's highly... Okay, if that was the size of a small car... Uh, just using the laws of physics, the explosion or the impact would have left a huge crater. It was too low to just blow up in the sky unless somebody blew it out of the sky. Look how close it is. I mean, you're talking about it's close to the ground here at this point, like almost close to tree level. You know, I would say maybe probably, you know, higher than that. But at the same time, what, maybe 100 yards, 200 yards up and fast, fast descending very fast. Uh, if this thing was the size of a car at whatever speed that it was on, that it was going, it looked like it was going pretty goddamn fast, actually. You know, uh, I think that you would have had a crater, an impact crater, and you also would have had a shockwave that would have really, sh you know, 
you would have seen that shockwave, you know. And I don't know if the ring camera, I don't know how far away it was from that footage to actually know uh, what that impact is. I'm sure that the reason that, that in the last video where that guy said that all the cameras were confiscated. Now the people themselves aren't speaking to anyone. They've disappeared. Nobody knows where they're at. Most likely the government has them and telling them, hey, guys, the men in black are sitting right there with them and shining that pen right in their, right, you know, in the movie there, they shine, shine that pen in their eyes. And they're going to come back and say, we didn't see anything. Oh, it was just a joke. It was a hoax. You know something is up if that happens. But let's see. unlikely the meteor landed anywhere in the valley. I would say that the uh, the meteor was coincidental uh, uh, to the uh, to the rest of the uh, uh, everything that went on that evening. <laughs> but he's not discounting the rest of the story yet, at least. You just kind of have to wonder. Maybe I am fully certain that there has to be life out there in the universe. Have we found it yet? No. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com. You know, when people say, have we found it yet? And they go to this whole thing, it drives me crazy because uh, it's not that we're trying to, you know, that we have more capability of the, let's say if there is other life out there, right? Do you think really that, that they're going to just come and just show themselves, hey guys, you know, we're, right over in that star over there we just want to come down here and hang out for a bit you know go gamble a little bit you know hang out i hope it's okay with you guys on earth doubt it i really doubt it so when people come up with these i want to use this old term cockamamie crap you know and uh start to discount or just trying to disprove something basically make it invalidate it you know totally invalidated and uh try to make it look like a hoax or whatever the case is there's too much science now to back up the possibility and the th and theoretical physics is moving so in that direction, you know, and just the idea of that, you know, just think of it like this. We're on the outskirts of the universe. Whatever other planets are out there, they've had millions, possibly billions of years of evolution ahead of us. Look where we're at in our evolution, you know, supposedly between six and nineteen thousand years of human evolution i'm going biblical to science that's why i said six to nineteen whoever believes in what that's why i did that so i use both but you know given that idea of the time span of evolution compared to millions or billions of of years of of the time to you know uh evolve there you know there's plenty to say here there's plenty of things that could happen that could have happened you know, that will happen. I mean, so these you can't discount these ideas, man. But uh, I want to show you a video on my TikTok. It's my video, actually. <laughs> so, just so you know, it's my video. This uh, It's called Enter the Spiritual Philanthropist or the Spiritual Philanthropist or Enter TSP. But I may be changing that soon, guys. Okay. Uh, it's a much better, uh, a much better uh, name that's more suiting. So I'm still finding that, guys. Please forgive me for that. But check this out. This is the work I did. Now watch. That's a regular one. Now see that right there? Did you guys see that? Look, watch. One. And this is after I did all these enhancements, okay? Look at that. Can you see that? Look. Look how tall that one is. You see a head here and a head here. They, they're both very tall. And there's some kind of, like, weird thing here because remember they said that every time uh they were looking at them they look kind of blurry well that could be this distortion that's around here but you can see look how long the arms are look the arms are very long you know these look monstrous see these guys where they're standing and th those things their, their heads are that high they're very tall this is my own uh you know uh stills that i worked on from from that first one from this one that, that uh this one that they that they gave here let me show you this original one so i i kind of went in and did some tweaking with some of the uh, image uh specifications and found some really interesting stuff but let's take a look this is the next one watch now if you can see this right here is that one head here and the other one was somewhere here i just couldn't get it to focus so i just focused on this head here which you can see the eyes the nose and this big ass mouth and then you can see the arms. Look at the size and the hands down here. Look, you talk about some big, long-armed individual. 
you know, but these are stills in different moments, as you'll see. It's not the same moment. I had to, like, pause the video and take a picture, pause the video and take a screenshot. So that's why they're in different positions. They're moving, obviously. So let's look. Now, this right here, you can see I kind of drew out after it moved into another position. Uh, I probably could, you probably can't see well how I was able to see that, but I could see it. You know, I knew these were hands because look, see the fingers right there and the, the really long thumbs, just like this one. And it's just coming straight out. Those were there. I, I didn't do that. These lines here, I put that there. Those little dark blue lines are mine. Everything else is just what you see, man. Look, the eyes, the nose. And like I said, look what this guy's head is. If he's an average five foot eight, five foot nine, you're talking about if he went up to this guy, he would only hit probably up to here on this guy. Maybe, maybe here or here somewhere. And you're talking about this guy still another half a torso, you know, an entire torso and head above him. You're talking about it got to be close to 10 feet tall aliens. I mean, if, if this is in fact true, but this is this was my, uh, you know, I had to use this uh, uh, pick. Uh, it's called uh, pixel or something like that. Pixler. That's what I used. Guys, so I hope that you enjoyed that and you appreciated the work that I did on that video uh, for these Las Vegas aliens. I hope that you guys, uh, you know, get a good uh, look at these things. And, and like I said, it took me over an hour to do this work. I'm going to keep trying to do as much as I can and try to figure out what's going on here and try to get every little bit of information I can. And I'll bring it to you guys. Soon I get, as soon as I get it, it's going to get put up. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you hopefully all in the next video. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like what I do. And uh, I have a a meetup on Zoom coming up. It's called the Wandering Avatars. The Wandering Avatars. That's what this symbol is going to be in the future. So I'm going to move from the spiritual philanthropist. It'll still be me. But the actual brand will be the Wandering Avatars guy. So uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Please share, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. And... Uh, Man, I can't wait till I actually see something really seriously like like we get to hear them on the news talking or something like that. It'd be great. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.